Hello, Nephilim Free, and welcome to the first ever live action uh, video of the Nephilim Free Typical Creationist Liar series on my channel. Let's do a quick recap. A few months ago, you created a video called Ice on the Moon, now deleted, in which you claimed that the craters on the moon were caused by Noah's flood. Uh, Thunderfoot, in, a, in his video, Why Do People Laugh at Creationist Part 33, pointed out the numerous scientific errors in this uh, hypothesis, I guess we'll call it. And the one you seem to focus on was that the water would not have enough energy to get anywhere near the moon. However, in comments to following videos, you stated that the, quote, nozzle size would somehow affect the distance that the water could travel. Uh, Thunderfoot again proved you wrong using a couple of soda bottles with two differently sized holes drilled in. But uh, recently on Osmeroid's last video, you, uh, you again held the, to the same c conclusion that the, that the nozzle size would affect the distance of water would travel. And from your own example, a squirt gun. Uh, here, I have the comment right here. Let me quote you directly at J.R. Chadwick, and then you quoted me, no matter how small the nozzle exists in your scenario, the pressure on the water remains constant. And then you said, oh, science denialist, uneducated goon, the smaller venue for the pressure, the greater the velocity. That's why a squirt gun with a tiny hole shoots water faster than one with a big hole. Your desperation to deny has caused you to make a goon of yourself. You are a failure to yourself. Well, I happen to have right here an old squirt gun from my collection that I had as a kid. Super Soaker CPS 1500. CPS stands for a constant pressure system, which means no matter how much air I pump into this, uh, no matter, it'll always have the exact same pr amount of pressure. But, you see here, it has a variable size nozzle. Three sizes, small, medium, large. And I'm going. And if, if your hypothesis is correct, then the smaller nozzle should be able to throw the same amount of water at the, in the same amount of time uh, a farther distance. However, if well physics is right, then the water should actually travel a slightly less distance, a slightly shorter distance, because due to the added friction, because water is not a super fluid. We'll start off with the larger hole. I'll pop it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fire. All right. There we go. Now I'll switch it to the smaller hole. See, it's now on the, sm the smallest hole. Pop it again ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll fire again. Same angle. I'm standing in the same place. And there you go. Slightly shorter distance due to the added friction. Didn't go farther. It went about the same, slightly shorter. So what are you going to do now, Neff? <clears throat> are you going to cry foul? Say that, move the goalpost saying that, oh, the gun wasn't right. I wasn't holding it right. I didn't shoot it right. Uh, I wasn't standing on one foot and singing the theme song to a Korean soap opera. Uh, or are you, are you just going to, to ignore it? Pretend you didn't see the video. And because you have more important things to do with your time. Or are you going to be a man and admit you were wrong and apologize for acting like such a jerk? <laughs> 